Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitarist, and thank you for watching. I have some rather sad news for you today. Uh, Foo Fighters drummer uh, Taylor Hawkins has passed away at 50 years old. Um, you know, as a lifespan wise, that's still f rather young to be dying at that, you know, at that age. Uh, and it's, it, it just kind of hit me because Foo Fighters has been, you know, like a massive influence on me since I was young, middle school, high school age, I've been listening to them forever. And while yes, you know, you think Dave Grohl, when you think of Foo Fighters, when any member of a band passes away, um, it, it, it sucks, it, especially if that band has had severe influence on you. Uh, so I'm not going to try to put it too much in my own words because I can't. Um, I have some other news for you too after I read the article, but I'm just going to throw up a picture of them, read off this article, and then uh, we're going to go from there. I think is what I'm going to do here. So Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins has died at 50. The Foo Fighters w were on tour in South America when they broke the tragic news to fans. Taylor Hawkins, best known as the drummer of Foo Fighters, has died according to a statement from the band. Foo Fighters announced on the news Friday, March 25th, but did not provide a location or cause of death. The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and timely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. The group's statement read, His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. The Foo Fighters are currently on tour in South America and were slated to perform at the festival and Triso Pin Picnic, uh, probably mispronouncing that, it's in, it was in Colombia yesterday. Uh, he was born in 1972, and he was touring drummer for Sasha Jordan, or Seos Jordan, and Alanis Morizite before joining Foo Fighters in 1997. Except for the band's initial debate record in 1995, Hawkins has recorded on every one of the band's studio albums since joining shortly after the completion of the 1997's The Color and the Shape. From 2000's There Is Nothing Left to Loose to Medicine at Midnight, which released last year. Outside of the Foo Fighters, Hawkins featured on Brian's May 1998 album Another World and Slash's 2010 self-titled debate album. He also performed with Code in Cambria, Taylor Hawkins, and uh, Cotel Riders, The Birds of Satan, and toured with Alanis Moserite before joining the Foos. Hawkins' last released with the Foo Fighters was Dream Widow, a, co a companion EP to the band's metal horror film project, Studio 666, based on a story by frontman Dave Grohl. Collaborators and friends have begun playing tribute to Hawkins. Kiss guitarist Paul Stanley tweeted, Speechless and gutted, Taylor was a great guy, a dad, and a husband. While Rage Against the Machine, Tom Morello saluted Hawking's unstoppable rock power. And I'm just going to read a couple of tweets here that we have here. Uh, we have Taylor Hawkins was a terrific drummer with a gorgeous disposition. Seemed always to be having the time of his life. I didn't know him well, but I know music is lessened by his passing. Made duller and smaller. In utter disbelief to the news, Taylor Hawkins, our deepest condolences to his family, his bandmates, his teams, his friends, and everyone that was ever touched by the music he created. And so many others, this is so incredibly sad. An absolute shock and disbelief over the passing of Taylor Hawkins. I've always had so much admiration for him. Amazing drummer and gem of a guy who was always fun to be around. I'm absolutely gutted. My deepest condolences to his bandmates and family. He was a truly great person and amazing musician. My heart, my love, my condolences to his wife, children, his family, bandmates. See you on the other side, Ozzy. Forever missed. God bless Taylor. Peace and love to all his family and bandmates and friends. And that is pretty much the gist of it. So if you are a Foo Fighters fan, like I am, you're probably hurting a little bit. So take take some time, you know, out of your day, even if it's just five or ten minutes, whatever spare time you have. If you're working today, maybe a lunch break or something, and just kind of relax you know, think about it. Um, great drummer, great musician, great band. Overall, just great in general. Uh, the other news that I wanted to say is that, um, kind of, to, unfortunately, to add on to the terrible news, is I'm really not where I want to be with this YouTube channel or my guitar playing. Um, in all honesty, I don't think I've picked up a guitar in the past month. Um, I've actually been selling some of my gear. 
uh, because the motivation to a certain extent is dwindling, I think. Uh, when I was in a band, I was playing guitar pretty much every single day. I had to practice, I had to keep up, because if I wasn't practicing, I wasn't keeping up, I wasn't learning those cover songs, they're going to know when I show up to band practice and sound like crap. So it was a nice little motivation at the time when I was actually in a band to play guitar. Uh, guitar video-wise, I cannot keep up with these bigger gear YouTube channels. I can't do a gear review, you know, every single day. You know, I don't have Harley Benton down my throat throwing free stuff at me to review like the bigger channels do. So I review what I can. If I pick up a new instrument or a new piece of gear, yeah, I definitely put it on the channel for you guys to hear. Guys and gals, I should say. Um, and I do my best with what I can. I don't have fancy recording equipment. I don't have a fancy camera. I don't have fancy lighting. I'm recording with a GoPro Hero 8 right now, using the microphone built into the camera. Um, I'm using the sun as my <laughs> natural background lighting. And uh, yeah, so I might try to do put some more effort into this channel because I have only been doing two videos a week. Uh, I primarily, you know, look up guitar news, anything that I find interesting, um, or, or in, and in general, you know, I'll, I'll, I rarely play on the channel. Uh, so what I think I need to do is I just need to get back into, into forcing myself to practice guitar every day. Even if I'm not feeling it, even if I'm not liking it, I just need to pick up whatever guitar is trying to inspire me and play something at the very least. I have been listening to more music lately, uh, Foo Fighters included, but um, it's really not, as I said, it's really not where I want it to be. I was hoping to hit, you know, at least one of my two channels, hit a thousand subscribers or so within the first year. Um, you know, we're, we're pushing three years and m many people have said, you know, a lot of people say, uh, try something for three years, try to put your all into it, you know, use what you have because, you know, you can't afford, a lot of people can't afford, including myself, to go out and buy a bunch of brand new guitars, a bunch of recording equipment and a bunch of fancy cameras, um, in order to, you know, make extremely high quality YouTube videos. And I, th I think the majority of people on YouTube <laughs> are not making extremely high quality YouTube videos. I'm talking not about content wise, I'm talking more about the lighting, the camera, uh, recording, sound, things along those lines. And um, you got to work with what you got. And I figured, well, if I start making money with it, it'll give me initiative to put a little bit of money into it. But um, if you're not making any money, you, you just try to have fun with it. And that's what I've been trying to do because it really hasn't been about the money. I didn't start it for the money whatsoever. I started it because frankly, I was bored and I wanted something to do. And I thought it would be an interesting use of my time. And if I made money in the process, cool. Um, but, uh, that part hasn't happened. So if I find something I like, yeah, I'm still going to make YouTube videos. I'm not going to stop, stop cold turkey. Um, if I do, I'll definitely make a video about that. And, uh, if I'm moving on to something else, I'll explain why. But, um, I've been doing this for a while now and it just seems like the payoff has not been where I want it to be. You know, I don't really have a huge following. There's not a whole lot of interactions with the videos, or at least not as much as I'd like. I definitely reply to almost every comment that isn't negative. Um, if it's negative, I'm not going to reply to you, 9 out of 10. And I'll leave it at that. I don't really like to deal or interact with trolls. But um, that's probably where we're going to leave this video. So if you don't see a video for a couple of weeks at a time, if the schedule is more jumpy, um, bare minimum, I think I'm going to still stick to at least one video a week. Um, providing I have the time to do so unless I find some sort of new hobby. But I really need to get back into guitar playing, need to get back into my roots. Maybe I need to find a band. It wouldn't hurt for me to join a band again, uh, get out of my shell a little bit, and uh, continue my guitar playing and or bass playing journey, because I do have a bass. Um, don't really, you know, like playing bass. I definitely prefer playing guitar. That's kind of where I started. That's kind of where I like to be. But I never really got into music theory because I just don't like it. You know, it, it didn't, it wasn't fun for me. Music theory, I, I played trumpet all throughout middle and high school and the music theory always bored the crap out of me. I just wanted to pick up the instrument. I knew where the notes are and I played the thing. And, that, and that's all I really want to do with guitar. I don't want to make it like a serious, crazy thing. I just want to have fun with it. I think that's where a lot of us are. We just want to have fun with it. And that's kind of where Dave Grohl was in Foo Fighters. I don't know about, um, Taylor, but uh, I know Dave Grohl, I don't believe he actually ever learned any music theory whatsoever. He just kind of went in there, had fun, and it worked out for him. So that's all you can do. If you enjoy it, keep doing it. If you don't enjoy it or you stop enjoying it, try to find something else for a while and maybe go back to it. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, I know it's kind of a double dip with crappy news. 
for a lot of you, but uh, we'll leave it there. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.